Hello everyone, I'm going to show you today one of the easiest way to apply multiple linear regression on a set of dependent and independent variables. As I have seen so far, Microsoft Excel is going to be the simplest program to apply this method. Uh, we just applied this method uh, to get the regressor uh, coefficients. The ANOVA table, which is uh, the analysis of variance table, the determined coefficient, which is equal R square and the residual, and also if we want to get uh, the residual plot or the normal uh, probability plot. Uh, assume we have a bull strength of a wire point in a manufacturing process. As dependent variable Y, we also gonna use wire length and die height as independent variable x1 and x2. So we have 20 observations. We have the ball strength as dependent variable y. We have the die height as x1, and we also have the wire length as x2 since we have 20 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 well we have to put all the data correctly and then just make the tables ready for the regression tools uh, we have the pull strength y with uh, observation 1 is equal to 10, uh, 24, 31, 35, 25, 16, 14, 10, 24, 27, 17, 37, 42, uh, 11, 21, 18, 69, 10, 34, and 46. We also have the die height and the wire length, which is the independent variable. Die height uh, starting with 50, 110, 120, 550, 295, 200, 375, 52, 300, 300, 450, 205, 400, 600, 585, 540, and finally with 250. We also have the wire length starting with 2, 8, 11, 10, 8, 4, 2, 2, 9, 8, 4, 11, 12, 2, 4, 4, 21, 10, 15. So, all the tables are ready now. So, we just go to the tools. We choose the data analysis. We'll have many choices we're gonna choose the regression one and then press ok we'll have the input y range the input x range the input y range is the dependent variable y which is the bull strength and the input x range is the independent variable x1 and x2 which is the die height and the wire length We also have confidence level. We can choose whatever we want, either 95 or 99. We'll have also the residual. As I mentioned, we have many plots, residual plots, line width plot, and normal probability plot. Then press OK. We'll have the summary output. We'll have the multiple uh, R with 0.987189. We'll have the R square, which is equal to the determined coefficient, with 0.974541. And we also will have the adjusted R with 0.971546. And the standard error with 2.511818 with 20 observations. 
We also have the ANOVA table consists of uh, regression, residual, the total. We have the degree of freedom, the sum square, the mean square, the F value and significant of F. We have a regression. We have the sum square of re the regression of 4,105.693 with two degree of freedom. We'll have the mean square with 2,052.847. We also have the residual or the sum square error with 107.2569 and 17 degree of freedom with mean square 6.309228. We also have the total uh, sum square with 4212.95 with 19 degree of freedom. Uh, I just want to mention that uh, the total is equal uh, to the sum square of the regression plus uh, the sum uh, square of the residual. We also have here the coefficient uh, of each uh, variable x, and we have the intercept. So the coefficient of the intercept, which is uh, b naught equal to 1.78645766, and the x1 variable, which is belong to the die height, is equal to 0.01269562 and the x2 variable, uh, which is b2, which is belong to the y length, is equal to 2.74808208. As we know, the regression model is uh, b0 plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2. So, in this case, we will have a regression model of y equal 1.78645 plus 0 0.01269562.1 x1 plus 2.74808222208 x2 so we have the model now we can just got two independent variables, x1 and x2, and then apply it in the equation to get the value of the pulse strength, which is equal y. So far, we have the residual output, or the residual table, of the 20 observation. We just applied the predicted y. We get all the value of the predicted y, and then we have the residual. As we can see from the table, we have the largest residual, with 5.61861092. Uh, thank you for listening and have a nice day.